Good morning and welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are well. Um, today I'm in Northamptonshire and I'm in a, a woodland called Wakerley Woods or Wakerley Great Wood actually to be precise which is a smaller part of a Rockingham forest. Um, it's only about an hour away from my house, hour and a bit. I was searching around for somewhere to go and I saw this on Google and thought yeah let's give this place a go. So there's lots and lots of pines I think there's a few birch here as well and a few other bits and pieces. The, uh, the ferns are very high at the moment, but uh, let's see if we can find something of interest to take a photo of. Okay, so I found my first shot here. I've had to wander just slightly off the track. I think I've come down a little deer track into his clearing here. And basically what I've got is I've got these really lovely ferns in the foreground. I've got lots of nice ones that are turning now. It's very early for the ferns to be turning, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's only mid-August, but um, yeah, a lot of the ferns are turning brown, obviously due to the dry weather. So I've got those ferns in the foreground and I've got one very prominent pine just beyond that and then a couple more and then there's a clearing on the right hand side where you've got a different tree with some nice leaves on it and then through to come back a lot more pines so essentially what i've done here is i've eliminated the sky because i don't want to take anything of the sky so i'm zoomed in quite a bit i'd imagine i'm at, at about probably 80 millimeters something like that and i've also got the center column pushed right up because i want to overlook the ferns if you like because the ferns are quite high i'd say they're about four foot high probably three and a half four foot high and if I had the the uh, tripod down at its normal level I'm shooting across the top of the ferns and what I actually want to be doing is shooting down onto the ferns so you get to see a little bit more of them and you get to see their color a bit better um, it's a two second exposure because even though the sun's up it, you know the sun rose about probably half an hour ago now it still hasn't really hit uh, this area of the forest yet because obviously there's a there's quite a lot of canopy that's stopping it from coming in. Um, so yeah, it's a two second exposure. Obviously I'm having to be really careful standing very still because I'm on sort of quite loose ground here. So if I move around too much when I take the shot, it's gonna make the camera shake and we're gonna get blurred, a blurred image. So, but yeah, um, that's the first one. Let's take a look and see what you think. So I really haven't got very far here this morning and when I'm talking about I haven't got very far I mean in terms of distance away from the car I've only walked about another 20 meters down the track here and I've come across this tree which I believe is an oak tree um, so you've got this oak tree sat in the middle of all these pines and what I really like is the fact that you've got the very tall pines vertically and then horizontally you've got all the branches coming off this oak tree 
Uh, now what I've actually done here is I've shot it as a panoramic because I want a really thin letterbox image again here. Now the sun actually right now as I'm speaking is just starting to hit these foreground ferns. So I'm going to retake this shot with a little bit of sun coming across the foreground. I might give it a couple more minutes just to see if we get any more sun because uh, that might give a little bit of light. There's a little bit of light coming through now actually on the trees as well. So hopefully if I can get a bit of light coming across and hitting this oak, that'll really make for a great image as well. So we'll give it five minutes. We'll see what happens. So I've walked down through the forest and I'm almost out the other side of this little area here because I can hear a road and I can see some fields behind. I can hear a train as well, I don't know if you heard that. Um, and basically what I've come across here is a really nice little scene. Uh, I'm on the pathway. Uh, all of the interest is about 50 yards that way. So I'm zoomed right in at about 100 millimetres. I've got the camera up or the tripod center column up because I need to raise it again above these ferns. And what I've got is I've got a really nice interesting tree here with a little bit of light on it on the left hand side. And then there's two distinct pockets, if you like, or uh, sort of alleyways or pathways or whatever you want to call it, looking through the in between these sort of like avenues, let's call them avenues, looking in between uh, these sets of trees here and then over on the right hand side you've got a couple of pines again that are sort of going to be I hate to say anchoring I've said it a lot today I know but sort of anchoring the left so we've got the tree the, this interesting lit up tree here on the right these two very distinct avenues the one set of pines in the middle another set of pines on the right hand side there's a birch tree there as well which might be quite interesting and yeah again it's going to be another letterbox image I think it's going to look really nice. I think it's going to look really nice. Um, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, I've got high hopes for this one as well. So yeah, this is proving to be quite a productive little morning. I think we're almost at the end here of this little trip here to uh, Wakerley Great Wood, which is in uh, Rockingham Forest, as I mentioned before. And what better way to finish than with an absolute cliche of a shot. So, you know, it doesn't matter how long you've been taking photographs and how long you've been doing it for, there's still room for a good cliche if it works. So basically what you've got here is you've got this woodland path that's winding its way through the image. There's some really nice little um, tree trunks or branches that they've embedded into the ground I think to stop it from being so slippy stop it getting muddy um, and then you've got this lovely tree on the right hand side that's got a little bit of side light on it you've got some fantastic light streaming through onto all the leaves in the background and yeah it's just a lovely lovely little scene I'm shooting it at 1.6 seconds uh, and I should have mentioned really there is no wind here whatsoever today so it doesn't really matter how long you're shooting for. You can shoot for 30 seconds and you're not going to get any movement at all in the image, which is really nice. So, yeah, just a, a nice little way to finish um, a lovely trip. Mm -hmm.